Hey guys, how's it going? Today we are unboxing a Super Beatemon. This is Hunting Lynx. So recently watched the episode with this guy. Uh, he's kind of an interesting character. I'm not super far into Super Beatemon, but this character I like. He's got a little like cat that just hangs out on his head all the time. Uh, but so he challenges the main character at one point and misfires, does absolutely terrible. And then he ends up trapping him sort of like in a graveyard with a like a obstacle course set up and challenges him again and kind of like tries to trick him into being at a disadvantage in order to win. It doesn't go according to plan, uh, but he's kind of a charming character. And his beat -em on Hunting Lynx has a pretty interesting gimmick. Uh, so it has a scope that you can peer through through the top of the head. There's a little mirror in there where you can, um, I guess, aim in at targets. So I'm interested to see how that works, like the functionality of that, but I thought it was super neat and the character is cool, so I had to get it. But uh, yeah, this is part of the um, Super beat -em Online, part of the plug-in system. So yeah, we'll see, uh, see how it is. So we've got our stickers, which are hopefully still sticky. This is from 1998, so there's no telling. Got some instructions, how to put it together, and a variety of parts and trees. It comes with one B-Dama and the little mirror for the scope in there. So these little plastic red screws put pressure on the core of the beat -em on So the tighter that you put them in there, the more power you get and you can loosen them up for uh, less power. So kind of interesting gimmick. I didn't have too much of an issue with the larger stickers. Some of the smaller ones uh, were kind of hard to put on. Uh, they're not super sticky. So the, the smaller ones that have folds in them didn't work out too well. So here I am attaching the mirror, which comes on this little plastic sort of platform, uh, which is adjustable once you put it in, so you can change the angle of it, which is pretty cool. A lot of the parts for this beat -em on do screw in, which I actually like versus them like snapping together or using some sort of like plastic screw or something. Uh, it just reduces the amount of breakage that you could potentially see. So at this point, I have everything put together. I did end up grabbing an old sticker sheet from Model Kit to cut out a couple foil stickers on some of the ones that didn't stick super well. Um, this is kind of uh, a way to still give the model some color without um, having to reprint. So I just used uh, some silver foil for the head and a couple stickers on the arm. So here you can kind of see how these tabs sort of move the mirror and then these screws in the back, you can just unscrew and screw in. Um, I, I imagine that if you just keep one side screwed in and loosen the other, you might get like some curve shots. I'll have to test that.
So it's got a pretty decent size sort of stock magazine here. I've loaded three, you could probably get four in there though. So really quickly, I'm just gonna kind of illustrate the mirror. Uh, it is inverted, so that kind of threw me off a little bit and the image isn't super clear, but as you can see, the yellow sort of um, cylinder that you're seeing is a target. So I took some time to take some shots against some targets using just the scope and it does work pretty well. Like I said, the image isn't super crisp and it is inverted though. I was able to hit about 50-60% of my shots, which is better than I normally do because I suck with these. But it should be worth mentioning that on the instructions it does mention that if you add a barrel, it'll help the accuracy quite a bit, which I think is probably true. Um, extending that barrel out might help quite a bit. Anyway, leave a like guys if you haven't already, drop a comment letting me know what you think of this beat -em on and subscribe for future content. I'm kind of mixing it up lately. Uh, trying not to burn out too much on Beyblade, especially since Burst has ended. We're just uh, trying other things.